Hi, I'm Sarah from sarahkbrandiscontent.com. Um, I am partway into my um, challenge that I set myself to do 30 days of showing up on video consistently. Um, I did take one day <laughs> off because it was so hot. I was just, I felt really ill, um, but I've just pushed things back by a day. So I'm still gonna do those 30 videos. Um, today's video is a little bit different because most of my marketing magic tips have been sort of practical how-to stuff specifically about marketing. Um, today, I wanna be a little bit different and take more of a mindset approach. And I don't do this very often because I don't wanna be one of those people who's on social media just being like, personal development, get up at 5 a.m., do the things, um, because I think that starts to fall on deaf ears after a while. And also I know that people need the practical how-to stuff. But I think once in a while, it's worth coming in and touching base on this stuff because it is relevant. I can teach you all the how-tos in the world, but if you don't action them, you're never gonna see the results. Um, so without encouraging you to get up at 5 a.m. and seize the day, blah, 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 um, I'm just gonna like try and encourage you in this video to do one or two extra things um, in your day, in your week, whatever you can manage based on your circumstances. So for me, I don't know if you saw the original video to this, but just to recap, the reason that I challenged myself to do 30 days of showing up on video was that I really wanted to grow my YouTube following specifically, although you might be watching this on a different platform because I love to repurpose my content and make it go further on different platforms. So you could see this on Facebook, you could see this on Instagram TV, um, that's upcycling, look for that video if you want. But um, yeah, I wanted to really grow my YouTube subscribers, but I wasn't doing enough video. And the reason being was that I was self-conscious and always wanted to have done hair and makeup and be in my office with the lighting looking quite good. And today's not too bad. This is a fairly smart day um, for the challenge. But yeah, the thing was I had to stop being a perfectionist because, because there were not enough days that I had access to a quiet corner of the house or had the time or the inclination to do hair and makeup, I was not doing video. So I've started in this challenge showing up however I look, even if I'm in my gym clothes and I'm sweaty and I haven't done makeup and my hair's just, um, yeah, I've just been doing it. And it's fine, I think, because, you know, I'm not a spokesmodel, I'm not an Instagram influencer, I'm a marketing trainer. Um, if you are my ideal audience member, then you shouldn't care how I look. You should care about the content of the video. So I had to convince myself of that and stop being silly and perfectionistic and just start showing up. So that's what I've been doing. Um, and I'm hoping that in doing this, I will encourage you to start showing up where you've not been showing up. So if you've got a goal to grow your following on a particular platform or to start building an email list or to do a particular thing to help your business, do it. This is this is your poke to do it. Um, if I can show up on video, sweaty, no makeup in my gym clothes and talk about marketing, you can do your thing too. Um, something I've realized a lot with my students who I teach marketing to is that knowledge does not equal action. So I have been um, poking people who either have brought my ebook, the content creation handbook, or they've been doing my email marketing training bundle, I've been periodically sending out an email to poke them so that they don't just do that thing that a lot of people do of buy a book or buy a course and then, you know, like read a chapter, do a section of the course and then just forget about it and don't take any action on their business. People are terrible for that and I used to do this too. I used to feel like in the action of pulling out my credit card and paying for some training, I was doing a really good thing, but paying for it wasn't the good thing. That was that was just giving me a little dopamine hit in my brain of, yay, Sarah, you've done a good thing. Yay, go you. But I wasn't actually doing the work or implementing the training. So I've got out of that habit now. If I buy a training course, I make myself do it. But something I found that really helps is getting reminder emails from that course. So I've been doing that for my students. And um, I thought I might suggest that you do it for your clients as well. So a lot of my followers, a lot of my students are life coaches, for example. So if you're a life coach and you're seeing a client once a week, um, I wonder if it would be worth doing a halfway through the week check in email with them to see how they're doing. I wonder how much that would move them along their process or re-engage them with whatever you're working on. Just a thought, might not be practical for you, but um, 
yeah just putting it out there because I know how much those prompts and reminders can help because humans are terrible we are terrible for not doing the things we're supposed to do so that was today's message do the things you're supposed to do set yourself a little challenge if you need to um get on with it I hope that helps I'll see you next time bye for now